At a recent Pike County Fiscal Court meeting, Judge Executive Ray Jones and the county commissioners addressed the subject of elk hunting. And to protect the elk herd near Fish Trap Lake in the middle field area, the court unanimously voted to close elk hunting in that area. Well, first and foremost, uh, elk hunting was never intended in the middle field area. Uh, the uh, Army Corps has established a uh, elk restoration area on adjacent property, part of the same property. And, you know, one of the greatest tourism potentials we have in eastern Kentucky is the elk. Uh, elk hunting, elk viewing, and this property is used for a lot of other purposes. Of course, uh, we have people that go you know, trail rides, people that run dogs, and we wanted to make sure the property wasn't close to all forms of hunting, but with the goal to try to restore the elk herd here in Pike County, we wanted to shut it down for elk, uh, for elk hunting purposes. The fiscal court also addressed the subject of professional guides who are hired by hunters to help them locate and harvest elk they have tags for. We had uh, Fish and Wildlife officers make us aware of professional guides that were charging a substantial amount of money to bring people in uh, with the intent to hunt in Middlefield. And uh, Middlefield was never intended to be open for elk hunting and there was a mistake on the Fish and Wildlife uh, website that showed that it was open. So we wanted to clarify that. We also want to make sure that if there are professional guide services that are charging people thousands of dollars to come and hunt, that they're registered with our occupational tax office, that they're licensed to do business here. Uh, because it's, it's only fair if local businesses have to do it that people who are coming in, making a lot of money off of elk hunting, are also licensed. And we're going to continue to enforce the ordinance that, the, uh, uh, that has been put in place. Firearm season for elk in eastern Kentucky opens this Saturday.